Welcome to the Guaranteed Way to Lose Weight, Episode 2, Flying Saucers and Losing Weight. You know, in Episode 1, I promised you I was going to tell you the three words that, that came into my head when I was dreaming. I woke up, I googled them, and I started following them every single day from January 1st, 2009 to today, mid-July, where I have lost. In episode one, I had lost 87 pounds. Get this, I weighed myself two days ago. Official weigh-in, 88 pounds. I lost another pound. Yes! That's the good news. Now the bad news. I weighed myself again this morning, and I lost another pound. That means I'm down 89 pounds. Yes! But here's the problem. I'm only supposed to weigh myself every eight days. You see, the thing is, compulsive overeaters, people... People who eat compulsively, who use food to deal with their emotions, we have strange things going on inside our head. I mean, it's not just the food, it's not just the fat, it's, it's also like our relationship with weird things like, like the scale. You know, like, if you've ever weighed yourself before you went to the bathroom and after you went to the bathroom, you just might be a compulsive overeater. I've done that. Is that sick or what? If you've ever weighed yourself more than once in a day, you just might be a compulsive overeater. If you've ever weighed yourself four times in a day, you're definitely a compulsive overeater. If you've ever weighed yourself eight times in a day, you need help. I want you to close your internet connection right now and call 911. You are in trouble. Anyways, so I weighed myself. I'm theoretically down 89 pounds. Let's officially call it 88. On January 1st, 2009, I weighed 355 pounds. I had a 56-inch waist. Right now I have a 54-inch waist. At least these pants I'm wearing are my 54-inch jeans. I'm very proud of them. Thank you very much. I feel really good. I'm moving pretty good. And I'm a pretty happy camper. And I'm dealing with this issue of the scale. What is it? I'm addicted to it. You know what I've noticed? When you step on a scale, if you move slightly to the left, you gain seven pounds. If you move slightly to the right, you lose seven pounds. I've had people come up to me and say, hey, Alan, how's your diet going? And I've actually caught myself going, oh, not too bad. It's a problem. What am I going to do with it? Well, that's what this video blog is about. That's what I'm asking you guys to join me as I go on my journey to lose all my weight. These are my actual jeans. They're my skinny jeans. When I went down from 56 to 54, and you'll notice they're getting a little loose around the side. So, I promised you in episode one the three words that changed my life. Three words, I thought. What about three words? You know, I have a great three-word story that i got to tell you before I tell you what I was going to tell you. And it concerns flying saucers, aliens from outer space, UFOs, true story. Swear to the Almighty, it's a true story. I'm driving along in Montreal, and I see beside this empty field three orbs of light floating above the field. So I stopped the car and I tried to figure out what are those three orbs of light? They were just floating up there like 60 feet in the air. Some of them were a little lower, some a little higher. And then all of a sudden they disappeared and five orbs appeared all in different spaces. It was just beyond comprehension. And then suddenly the five orbs disappeared and suddenly there were 15 orbs. What the heck was going on? I don't know if you could hear in the back, but my dog is running around chasing his ball. He doesn't care about what the about the story on any level. Anyways, so I'm looking at these alien type lights, trying to figure out what the heck are they? Teddy, if you don't mind, I'm trying to do a live video, please. Thank you very much wants me to uh, throw the ball after him. You've got to meet Teddy. He's a really cool dog, not an alien or anything like that. Anyways, I'm looking 
at these orbs and they start moving around some of them a hundred feet away from the from me some of them 20 feet away from me all of them above but different heights and the only thing I could figure out was that something alien was going on now you're thinking I'm making up the story but I promise you I'm going to tell you three words at the end of the story and you're gonna know that the story I'm telling you is true so these orbs start moving around all over the place and my brain is trying to figure out what the heck are they and it's really hurting me you know it's just hurt I'm sorry I'm really hot you mind if I just take my shirt off I'm really hot so I'm looking at them I'm looking at these orbs right and I'm thinking what the heck are they what it, it seemed like it was a UFO you know what I mean it just seemed like it was a UFO and I'm looking at them and I'm thinking someone please come along and see what I see so I'm not alone and and there was no one around and I had no choice but to just keep watching and trying to figure it out and then the lights the lights started bouncing around all over the place and it was like it, it had to be an alien spaceship definitely a UFO that there was no question about it and suddenly all the lights are swirling and there's 20 and 40 and 80 and 160 and 320 and suddenly there's thousands of lights and as the lights just explode I suddenly realize this ship there's a ship that the lights are attacked attached to and they're like 150 feet long this ship and then suddenly the lights start making a word a word up there in the sky above me and the th th then another word and another word and the three words that it said were you ready and when I tell you these three words you're gonna believe me you're gonna believe this story the three words were drink coca-cola you see it was a blimp and it must have had an electronic malfunction and they had parked it in this empty field but until the sign said drink coca-cola I had no idea what was going on three words that changed my life I now know there's such a thing as blimps that have signs but what about the three words that helped me get into these 42 inch jeans helped me get down into the 260s what did I weigh this morning? Unofficially, I weighed 266. Officially, I weighed 267. Go figure that. My mind's a little crazy. What do you want me to tell you? But I had a dream just before January 1st, and I Googled those words, and it helped me lose unofficial 89 pounds. I'm going to tell you about that, but we're running out of time. So I'm going to ask you to come back for episode three. I promise you I won't do any jokes about scales or about alien spaceships. Actually, the, the alien spaceship thing is, of course, completely true. It happened in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, my hometown on Vizina, in an empty field. But next episode, episode three, I'm going to tell you the three words that came to me in a dream. I'm going to ask you to join me. And in the following episodes, please support me and support yourself in whatever journey you're on. I'm aiming for 215 pounds, and I'm also aiming to have a great time on this video blog. See you later. Okay. This is Chetty. Chetty is a dog. Teddy's my dog. Teddy, say hello. Hello. Hello, Teddy. Teddy, hello. That's the dog.